So Steam has just been updated with a bunch of new features and one of the biggest overhauls that the platform's had for years. This includes a vastly improved look and feel for the user interface with updated fonts and graphics, a completely redesigned big picture mode, which basically takes the interface from the Steam Deck and allows you to control your entire library using a controller. The Steam overlay has also been updated with a brand new Rich Text Notes app that syncs across the game and your Steam account. We also have the ability to instantly load up guides, discussions, achievements, and we have a brand new screenshot manager as well. And it's never been easier to get into Steam input and also to load up a web browser as well. You can even play a nice relaxing video from your favorite YouTuber whilst enjoying a game of No Man's Sky. But does this update actually fix any of the real long-standing issues with Steam on macOS? And probably the number one complaint is is how laggy the interface is, which is why they say they've enabled hardware acceleration for macOS and Linux, which is supposed to make everything feel faster and more responsive. And to my eye, this is probably the biggest improvement that I can visually see. Whilst it's not lag free, it's certainly a little bit better than it was before. However, the same cannot be said of the new big picture mode. This user interface, which is supposed to be controller optimized, is absolutely terrible. There's a huge amount of lag at every step and it's a slog to use. Furthermore, a lot of the Steam interface relies on pressing the home button. However, on Macs, this takes us to Launchpad. And I know this is probably not a Valve issue, it's an Apple issue, but it's a shame that Valve shipped an interface which is basically unusable on a Mac. And also the new overlay is very cool. I do like it a lot. However, on Mac, it is fundamentally broken, I'm afraid. That's because when we have the overlay enabled, the mouse control still interacts with the game behind it. Here I'm in the overlay again, but you can still see the mouse tooltips of the game behind it. I tested this issue on two different Macs and it seemed to be happening in every game. And really the reason this is happening is I think Valve doesn't really value the Mac as a platform. And they certainly don't really care about optimizing their software for the Apple Silicon Mac. And this is reflected and one of the major issues with Steam, which is the fact that it's still an Intel application, that means it's being run through the Rosetta 2 translation layer. So every click, drag and move on the interface is gonna carry substantially more overhead and run slower than if it was a native ARM application. And unfortunately, I think that Valve are never gonna get around to optimizing Steam for the Apple Silicon Mac. Ironically, Valve and Apple used to have a very close development partnership, but this dissolved over the last few years. If you wanna find out more about why Valve gave up on Mac gaming, then make sure to click on the link in the description. Let me know what you think about the new Steam update as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.